uh, it was September of last year, and uh, my wife had just passed, so I was raising my daughter Sarah all alone. And I read the papers, just like everyone else, but I, I didn't believe it. You know, not until I saw it. My uh, my neighbors at the time, the Coopers, there were there were screams coming from their home. You know. Uh, there's nothing quite as disturbing as that first time you see it. So, uh, we, uh, found our way out. And, to our surprise, all the main roads were blocked. So we had to find our own way out. And then, a car plowed into the side of the jeep in the mess. I had to carry Sarah. I think she broke her leg. And I remember thinking, the only thing that really mattered was keeping Sarah safe. And there was so many people screaming and running, infected everywhere. People on fire. And we almost made it out too. But then, The SWAT officer stopped us. Thought we were infected. I don't know what kind of guy he was. But he raised his gun. And he shot. And if it wasn't for my brother, he would have killed me. But Sarah... There was so much blood. It was everywhere. And I can still, I can still hear her screaming. And just silence. Do you know what that's like? To have your whole world in your arms and just lose it? I just miss her so much. I should probably go. <laughs>